Okay, if you don't like the projector, ask Matthew, he'll fix it. Because I have to face the computer so you can hear me. Okay, so this is Vectorworks, and today we're talking about moving around in Vectorworks, okay? I have up here, this is the set design for the fantastic Mr. Fox, because moving around an empty file is not very exciting, okay? Um, and ultimately, because you guys are lighting designers, you won't have an empty file to walk through here, you're going to trip, walk around. Just don't oh, trip. Oh, thank you. Worried about the light. No, I'm worried about <laughs> tripping on all this horrible, unsafe cable because the projector died. Okay. Um, so come Monday, hopefully, that's what I'm doing this weekend, uh, you will have a scenic design for uh, the Mystery of Irma Vap. Yes, I will do a scenic design for you. It'll be all built into Vectorworks for you. So you're going to open up the file, and in fact, your Vectorworks homework one assignment, which you cannot do yet, but that file that you need is on Blackboard already, okay? It's a pre-set up file. The files you need are, will be on Blackboard for you, okay? Um, so to move around Vectorworks, we're gonna need to get to our basic palette. Now your basic palette might already be open, but I wanna show you how to open it in case it's not. Click on Window, Palettes, and you get a whole list of palettes here. We're gonna look at basic first. Okay, and you see the palette showed up. We're going to just drag it to the middle so we can see it. And I'll drag it over here. Can we, can we all see that? So I'm going to use the mouse as my finger so that, because obviously if I point at it with my finger, you won't be able to see it on the video. Okay, the hand tool, it's actually called the pan tool. And notice if you hover your mouse over something, um, it shows up, but it says pan and the H in parentheses next to it means that if I want to access it and I don't want to take my mouse over there, I can hit the H key. Okay, because um, it used to be called the hand tool, it's now called the pan tool. Does the same thing. Before we click on it, I want to note one other thing next to the tool. Do you guys see there's a little black arrow in the lower right hand corner of the tool? Yes. That means there are other tools underneath it. So if you're like going, oh my gosh, I need the hand tool and I can't find it, or the pan tool and it looks like a little hand, I can't find it, I can't find it. Click around and hold, click and hold, and you'll see the tools that are underneath it will show up. Okay, today we need the pan tool, so that's good. Okay, I take the pan tool, I put it on the page, and I click, and now when I move my mouse around, when I click and hold, it moves the page around. Okay, it's like grabbing the piece of paper. You could use the scroll bars, but if you're in the idea lab, you won't have scroll bars, because Vectorworks defaults to not having scroll bars, so you need permission on your computer to reset your preferences. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do things without scroll bars, okay? If you have Vectorworks on your own laptop or on your own computer at home and you can't figure out how to set it up so that you have the uh, control of uh, scroll bars, come and ask me. I'll show you how to do it, okay? Okay, so I can move around this way. Let's say I want to zoom in. We're going to use the magnifying glass tool. It looks like a magnifying glass. It's called zoom. The shortcut is C. In general, the shortcuts are the same on the PC and the Mac, but you might find one or two that are different. So if you're a Mac or a PC user, find the tool and hover over with your mouse. It'll show you what the shortcut is. Or just use your mouse. Okay. The uh, Zoom tool has two modes. So when a tool has multiple modes, it's going to be in this upper left-hand corner. Can you guys see these two buttons here? It says, and when I click the first one, it says Zoom tool, colon, marquee mode. And... Zoom tool versus interactive mode. Again, this uh, video will be up uh, on uh, Blackboard for you today. Okay, uh, Zoom marquee tool allows us to basically, it looks like a box. Can you guys see the, the box? I draw a box, I zoom into the box. Give me a second, I want to close the door. Okay, this tool is great for zooming in. Can anyone see a problem with this tool? You're not getting it very big. You're not seeing the whole picture. I'm not seeing the whole picture. And if I draw a box to zoom in, how do you think I zoom out? I don't. You can't zoom out with this tool. Yeah, you hold alt, or I don't know on Mac. Well, you'll switch to the other tool. Okay, which is zoom tool uh, interactive mode. And now my magnifying glass has a little uh, set of arrows next to it. If I click and move my mouse up, 
I zoom in. If I click and move my mouse down, I zoom out. Okay, and I can zoom out. I can zoom way out. I can zoom so far out. I can zoom so far out, I can't find my drawing. Okay? That's super cool. If you lose your drawing, um, find this little thing called Fit to Objects. Okay, and you click that. If you have nothing clicked, it will zoom to everything that's visible and let you look at it. Okay, it'll just fill your window with whatever's there. Okay? If I have an object selected, I'm going to use my arrow key, which is X. That's my selection tool. And let's say I select my ramp. Okay, if I now click fit to objects, it will zoom in on the object that's selected. Okay? Okay? So, okay. Yes, and Caitlin loves that because she just built that thing. Okay? So, I can now move around my page. Okay? But Vectorworks is not just a 2D program. It is a 3D program. So if I want to move around in 3D, I use the flyover tool. Okay, I click on that. You'll notice my image has changed a little bit. But now as I click and hold and move, look at that. There is the fantastic Mr. Fox in 3D. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good. Some of you are suitably impressed. Okay. Uh, it is not in perspective yet. It can be in perspective, but not for another five or six weeks. Question, Kaylee and then Kai. Uh, it is a little bit like Google SketchUp is like a less exacting version of Vectorworks. Okay, Kai. No, to to create your own scenic design, you have to take TA twenty seven A next spring. Mm -hmm. Caitlin. Do you can you like create our theater as a template so you don't have to recreate it every time you design the show? Um, I have a blank version of our theater that I use every time. So yes, I don't redraw the theater every time. I'm lazy. Okay? Okay? Um, if you're in this kind of crazy view and you're like, oh wait, oh look, everything's upside down, how do I get back? Okay, there's a drop down menu here with listings. Top plan, top front, right, etc. In general, in this class, you will need to be in the top plan view to do most of your work. It is different than the top view. Top view is a 3D view looking at it from above. Top plan um, is a ground plan. It's, a, it's technically a 2D view, but it's, it's calculating the 2D view from the 3D drawing. Okay. Um, later on in the semester, you'll understand the difference. For now, just kind of go with me. Okay. Vectorworks is one of the hardest things to teach for me because to understand vector for me to teach you anything in Vectorworks, you have to understand Vectorworks, and then I can teach it to you. Um, so a lot of this stuff will, you know, you'll be going along in a couple weeks and go, oh my gosh, that totally makes so much sense, okay? Which is why my big recommendation is now that you're learning how to move around in it, go to the computer lab and play with it. Click on things. Find out what things do. There are more tools in Vectorworks than, you will, than I will ever teach you. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use them. Just click on them. Play with them. Okay? So we can move around. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. We can zoom to an object. Our next thing on navigation, we're going to need the navigation palette. So again, window, palette, navigation. How many of you have used Photoshop in the past? Okay? Or have used some program that has a concept of layers or classes? Okay? Cool. Okay. Um, in Vectorworks, every object, everything you draw has a layer and it has a class. Layers and classes are ways to categorize objects. Okay. Um, in general, I do not use a lot of layers. I use a couple of layers and they're kind of big ones. So here is the layers for this. Building. What do you guys think the building is? The building. Okay, so all the building stuff is drawn on the layer. Sets are the scenery. Lights will be the lighting. My lighting layer is almost completely empty because I start the light plot tonight. And construction. Construction is one that you guys will not have in your file because construction is where I put in how one builds all my scenery. Okay, and because the set for um, Irma Vep will not have to be built, the construction layer will be empty or not there. Okay. 
um, there are these icons next to it, okay? This icon is an eyeball, yes? Okay? If I click the next slot, okay, this is building, so watch what happens on the screen. I'm going to zoom in. Whoops, it's a little too much. Zoom in to the building, okay? If I click the, the column with the X, my building vanishes. Okay, did I just delete it? No, I just turned it off, okay? Uh, there are lots of things that you're going to want to draw that you're going to say, okay, I've drawn that. It's useful, but I don't want to show it to anyone, so you can turn it off, okay? And the third box is gray, okay? It's a gray eyeball, and that means it's there, but it's grayed out, okay? Um, again, it can be very convenient if I want to know where something is. When I work on lighting, I set the set to gray because um, I need to know the set's there, but it's not really what I'm working on, okay? And the last column is a checkbox, okay? The check means that is the layer I am working on, okay? The thing about the layer I'm working on, it is always on. I cannot work on an invisible layer. So if I click on the building layer, even though at the moment it's clicked to invisible, it's on because I can see the layer I'm working on. Does that make sense? Okay. And I was working on lighting <coughs> before I came here, so the, the scenery layer is already set to gray. But right before class started, I clicked on, we want to work on sets. Okay. So again, I can turn the set layer off, okay? It's invisible. I click, I click on it, oh look, it's there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the set layer back on, I'm gonna turn the building layer back on. Layer options up here, I wanna show you these. These are important. There's a bunch of options here and I think they make sense, okay? Show, snap, modify. That means, show means I can see any other layer that I've set a visibility to. Snap means, okay, Snap is a computerized tool that says, hey, I bet you're trying to draw a line that connects to that. The Snap tool will become really important when you're drawing your lights because you're going to want to put your lights on a lighting pipe, and Snap will allow you to do that, okay? But I have to have Snap turned on. So show, Snap, okay, means I can Snap to an, ob to an object, whether it's on or whether it's on, a, on the layer that's active or it's on another layer. And modify, modify means change. I almost never work in show, snap, modify layers because I do not want to modify my building layer. Because let's say as the line designer, I say, oh, I'm going to knock a hole in the building so I can install a light. Do you think I'm going to be allowed to knock a hole in the building? No. So I usually have this set to show, snap, okay? I can set it to show others, which means I can see things, but I won't be able to snap to them. We'll talk about snaps more later. Just kind of file this stuff away, okay? Uh, gray snap others, now that's overriding, even though I have the building turned on, because I said gray others, it's already turned to gray, okay? Um, and, long click, uh, gray others means I can't snap to them, and active only means everything except the layer I'm working on will be turned off, okay? I generally work in show snap, okay? Make sense? Cool, easy, okay? Every object you have has a layer, and you want to think about where you're putting stuff. In general, in this class, you're doing lighting design. So it should all go on the lighting layer, okay? So just check that. If you accidentally put something on the wrong layer, there is a way we can fix it. If you do that before we get to the lesson where I teach you how to fix it, just come ask me and I'll do it for you. Okay, it's not really hard to fix something, putting it on the correct layer, but we're just not going to get to that today. Okay? So the other tab on here we're going to look at today is classes. Now, there are lots of classes, okay? I am a big believer that you want to really group objects specifically. So layers are kind of my big things. Scenery, lighting, building. That's my basic stuff. Okay? Let's look at some of these classes in here. Arch. The arch happens to be the proscenium arch. We have a director here who does not like looking at scenic drawings with the proscenium arch on them. Okay? Doesn't like it? Fine. I put the proscenium arch on its own class, so even though it's part of the building, I can turn it off separately. Okay? Um, areas. Areas are my lighting areas. We'll talk about those coming up, but I don't need to see them at the moment. If I need to, look... Oh, something things turned off. Look, there are my areas, okay? They're annoying. I'm going to turn them off, okay? Okay? 
So this really allows you to control things. And by the way, same thing. I've got on, off, gray, and again, I have my checkbox. So these work the same way. So think of your layers as your big containers of things and your classes as your smaller categories. Okay? And as you're working in Vectorworks, especially in lighting, there are going to be a bunch of uh, things that are going to be created for you that you're not going to have an option of. It's going to automatically create classes for you. Okay? Don't worry about it. Okay? Chances are good because I'll probably give you a file with all the classes that's going to automatically create already created for you. But in case you're suddenly looking over and you go, I did something and now there's 14 more classes. Yeah, it happens. Okay? Because there are certain things Vectorworks needs to make classes for. Okay? And there are lots of classes. You can see I'm scrolling down here and, you know, there, and I, you know, there are a lot. Okay? And your set will have a lot of classes in it. Okay? When you get it. Okay? Don't worry a whole lot about it. Okay? If you need to create a new class or a new layer, double click right here. Double click. Okay, and it brings up this little thing to create a new class or a new layer. I mean, classes, you just click new, or I can edit one, or I can copy one, or I can delete one. Okay? Okay. Uh, these other things, stories, sheet layers, viewports, save views, references, uh, we will deal with sheet layers, viewports, and save views later on in the semester. Okay? Stories are really for architecture. That's how you do a first floor and a second floor. Um... But, again, they're there. Play with them. You can't break anything. Okay? The other thing that's going to be very true is in that when I have your scene designed for you, it is, there is a clean version permanently on Blackboard. So if you completely screw everything up and you break the set, you can go get a clean version. The only thing you're going to break possibly is your file. Okay? Which brings me to another minor point. This is a computer program. Please save often. Okay, I also personally recommend when you start each day working on your design, save as and give your file a new name so that if you screw something up terribly, you can go back to yesterday's work. Okay, so like, you know, um, you know, Irma Vep, January 21st. Okay, when you start on January 22nd, open up, do a save as, and this works just like any other program, file, save as. You know, make sense? Okay. So, uh, same thing with your class options. You've got your same show, snap, modify, show, snap, etc. So, the classes and the layers work very much alike. Layers are your big groups of objects, classes are smaller delineations. Make sense? Okay. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can go into 3D. Whee! Okay, and we can pop back to a regular view, top plan. Okay. By the way, on a Mac, Command-5 will always take you back to your top plan view. I forget what the command is on a PC, but it's, that's one of the few keyboard commands I recommend memorizing because it's very, very helpful. Okay. Um, hey, that's all the commands I need to cover for today. Any questions on what we covered today? Okay. Very simple, very basic. Uh, by Monday, you will have an Irmavep design up in Blackboard. Um, the Vectorworks is in the Idea Lab, so feel free to go play with it. Okay, you can't hurt it. Okay, um, and if you want to have your own copy, download it from Nemechek. Okay, there's a link on Blackboard. Questions? Yes, Caitlin. Can we see? Uh, there's not much in it this time because I didn't have to do a lot of stuff separately. Yeah. The only thing in it is the other copy of the book. And it is, in fact, the wrong dimensions. How the heck did I do that? Because that's a copy. Um, um, on this show, I didn't need as many construction layers. But if I have to copy a set piece over to do it differently, I'll copy it and put it on construction and then do the detailed drawings. This show is pretty straightforward. Strangely. Do you still have the, like, all of the set designs for all the shows? Do you save them all? Yes. Cool. Okay.